everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals and today we are going to be mass making some large journaling tags or journaling cards. So what you're going to need to start out with is a piece of cardboard. And this particular piece of cardboard that I got was from the back of a 12 by 12 paper pack of scrapbook paper. So I have a couple of those. And if you don't have that, just a heavier duty piece of cardstock, something that's not too flimsy that'll hold up. So we're just gonna get right into it. So what I have done is I've gathered a bunch of scrap paper and these are things that I'm working on that I'm using in my current journal and also just some music sheets, some book pages, Edith Holden pages. Of course, I've got to use that. So just a variety of things here. Now, my thought process on this is I want to create a lot in one sitting. There are times when I only make, you know, one little one uh, for a specific page in my journal, but I'm going to go on a grander scale this time. So let's start out with some of our scraps and then Scotch Create glue stick and, you know, whatever glue you have on hand will work. What I like to think about, though, before I start is Am I going to be making this tag to have a uh, focal point in the center or on the top of everything, meaning an image or, uh, you know, some sort of graphic, a photo, uh, some writing, something like that. So what I'm going to do is kind of create a background, if you want to call it that. And we're going to see how it turns out. It may not need something over the top as a focal point. So I'm just going to start out with that. And I'm going to use some large pieces because, like I said, um, I like to build from the bottom layer up. And I feel that the larger pieces will do the best at covering large areas. And then we can go in and add the smaller bits and then do some decorating. So this is gonna be fun. Let's just have at it. All right, so let's see. I don't know, what do I wanna use first? I don't know. Let's just use a vintage piece of music. And we're just gonna plop that on down there. I always make sure that on my music sheets, nothing is uh, weird <laughs> that they're that they're singing about, if you know what I mean. But usually my um, my music sheets are um, vintage and they're usually very sweet and you know love stories and stuff like that. So we're gonna be as random as possible, or I'm saying at least for me, you know, I don't know how random I'm going to be, but that's what I like to do is just try and, you know, go with the flow here. So this is a piece of paper that um, I'm using in my current journal. So we're just going to put that on there. And I'm sticking with um, neutrals for the background just because then whatever um, pieces you add over the top um, can be more vibrant. And that's, you know, that's just how I like to work it so that these don't try and compete with what you put over the top. Look at this, isn't this cute? This is The Complete Speller. It was a vintage book that I got. Um, and it's just funny to see I don't know, the teachings, this was probably in the 1920s. I just love that. And this is not a stain that I added. That is just on there. So we're going to just put that baby down there. Let's see, what else? Trying to stick to neutrals here, guys. And finding some large pieces here. Hold on a second. Here we go. Here's one. That's pretty. So I hope you guys are all doing well today. 
It's another fine day for crafting. Every day is good for crafting in my book. <laughs> yes, sirree. Let's see. And um, don't worry about the edge here. We're going to take care of that uh, later. I am lining it up because I'm being too matchy. Got to chill out here, Pam. Just go with the flow, right? I'm going to do some tearing. Isn't this a gorgeous piece? I don't know where I got this. I don't remember. It was a download from somewhere. Oh, and then you can always distress, you know, the white edges if you want. So if you think about it, this is going to be, depending on the size you want your uh, finished tags to be, this is going to be a quick and easy process and fun too. Don't forget the fun. That's the most important part here. Oh, that looks good. And you know what this could also be? This is when I start thinking about stuff and I start getting on getting on a roll and start thinking about other things. This would be a great master board, wouldn't it? Oh, I might have to do that. So before I cut it up, just take a copy of the whole thing and you could even copy it onto vellum. That's fun too if you guys haven't tried that. That's really, really fun. Here's a digital from my friend Casey. She has some gorgeous digitals and I keep reusing them. i just put that somewhere. I don't know where. Just gonna go with it, right? Make it a little smaller here. Yeah, and who knows in the end how much of this stuff is gonna be covered up, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. do I have here? Should I do another music sheet? Yeah, why not? Isn't that cool how the both of these uh, pieces of music that I'm using are, you know, just as is and look at the different colorings on them. I love that. That's fun. I don't know. Do I want to cover up complete speller? Yeah, okay. It's just a background. It's just a background. Let's see what else we have here. Ooh, ooh, yeah, some of my uh, tea stained paper. Now, do you guys say tea stained or tea dyed? Or actually, excuse me, this is coffee. Coffee dyed or coffee stained? <sighs> this is kind of both, but I think those words, you know, I was thinking about that. I think they're kind of interchangeable. Mm. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Because maybe if you think about the definition of stain, it's like a visible spot, like on your clothes or something like that. That would be maybe a stain, whereas the whole thing would be more of a, a dye. Huh. Maybe that's what I'll think about before I call it that. But um, I kind of interchange it. I don't know if that's correct in the junk journal world, but... You know what? It's okay. No big deal. I'm just gluing down the sticker uppers here. What else do I have that's neutral, you guys? Let me see. Let me see. There's a big old stash. Ooh, I've got a doily. That'd be pretty. Now, see, this, the whole thing is coffee dyed, but it could be coffee stained, right? So I don't know. <laughs> Help me out here, folks. Do I want that? Oh, that looks pretty good. Or do I want that? No, I kind of like this dark. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with the dark here. It's still a neutral, right? Yeah, we're going to go with that. Oh, that looks really cool. It's already looking cool, you guys. And this is just the first part. This is fun. Let me see what else I have. 
I don't know. Here's, here's some more neutrals. We'll go with that. Put that down. And I know everybody likes to use up their scraps. Well, hmm. I do too. Don't get me wrong. I do too. But I think in junk journal land, you're never going to. I, yeah, it's just the, it's a never ending thing, but I'm not going to stress out. I'm going to get rid of that white there. I'm not going to stress out about using my scraps. You know what? It doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So now from here, let's start adding some pops of color. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. I'm using this in my journal. Isn't that pretty? All right. Color those. You know, when I start these videos, I kind of have a plan, but not really. And, I, <laughs> you know, it's just, that's what's so much fun is you just go with it. You go with whatever you feel like, whatever looks good, whatever pleases you, right? Right. Ooh, yeah. That right there. Let's see. So I've got a kind of got some pinks going here. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, if you remember this, this is the cutout from my um, window envelope uh, journal page tutorial. So you know, like I said, save everything. So I'm just gonna tear the sides of that and use that baby. Now, another thing to remember is I'm looking at this as a whole piece. In other words, you're going to see the whole thing on one tag. You're not. So that's what I have to remember, too, is that I'm looking at this as a whole. And in actuality, it's going to be cut into the size that you want for your tags. So um, that's just a reminder for me to not make the whole page cohesive unless of course you are gonna you know make it a, a master board but then again I still I really don't think it matters uh... <laughs> glue that guy down right there it's bugging me all right what else do we got here what else all right Ooh, look at this. Love that. I'll use this in another, um, my um, paint chip tags. And those were really fun. I used this as the focal point on, focal point on that. So we're just going to see what looks good. Mm -hmm. Looks good there like it like it a lot all right let's see what else we have here all right so now we've kind of added some of the what i want to call mediums the medium pieces so here's one more and you know what? If it doesn't look that great right now, don't worry. It will. And I'm saying that to me right now. I'm going, oh, I like this. You know, do you guys ever do that when you're making something? You're like, meh. I don't know. But then you keep going. You keep going. And it does. It comes together, which is really cool. She, 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 she. Liking that, liking that a lot. All right, what else do we have here, folks? More music? Nope. Let's do another one of these pretty guys. See now, even though 
I'm staring at that orange dye on the complete speller page. I don't know if I like that because I'm kind of getting a pink theme, but then I got to step back and say, Pam, this is just the beginning, right? It's not the end. All right, yay. Should we add Edith? <laughs> Let's add some Edith, okay. Sure, why not? Why not? Yeah, I am going to cover that up because <laughs> that bugs me. Oh, my God. I'm so funny. Oh, geez. Oh, it's all about fun. Oh, that looks really pretty, you guys. It looks just fab. There's a little white guy. I got to get rid of that. Uh. Okay, now from here. We're going to, we're going to think about this is what we're going to do. Because depending on the size tag you want, I am going to cut this up. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to finish the tag once it's cut. But one thing to consider before you start cutting up your tags or making the, you know, the size you want is do you want anything on the back? And the reason I say that is do you want, um, you know, journaling space on the back? Do you want another image on the back? Um, what I was thinking of doing is just adding some, you know, uh, dot T stained, is stained, uh, T stained paper on the back. And you could also do this at the end, depending on how big your journals are. So that's something to consider. So let's just do that later. That's what I'm going to do. So from here, I just thought of something. Hold on. Before we cut this baby up, let's do some stamping. Yay! And I just happen to have some stamps that I pulled out. Let me get them. And I think they're going to look fabulous. Okay. So, I don't know. Do you think black to make them stand out more? I think so. Let's do black. Let's do black. So let me get my black out here. Hold on just a sec. You could also do any color, really. Doesn't matter. Okay, so I've got Ranger Archival Ink. Now this stuff is, it says permanent and waterproof. It is. All right, so let's just be random here. And I'm going to use my postage stamp. We're going to go and put some of these randomly on here. Oh, that looks so good. You guys, this is cool. I know a lot of people have uh, made these, but you know what? I'm glad you're here with me, and this is just my take on them, and I love doing it. I love doing this. It's just so Bond. Do I say that enough? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay, let's move that one out of the way. Let's do a different one. Hmm. Hmm. How about my flourish? It's kind of a a scrolly looking guy. Let's do that. Let's see how that looks. I don't know. Just put it. Stick it on there. Oh, that looks cool. I am not the best stamper in the world. That's for dang sure. But you know what? It works. 
because like I said, we're still working on our background here, you guys. See, now that didn't come out in my mind that great, but you know what, that's okay. <laughs> and I kind of like that it doesn't, um, you know, go perfectly the same uh, color the whole time because that gives it an eclectic look. And I think it looks really cool that it's random. Okay, so now I'm going to try another stamp. We don't want to get too busy here, but check this stamp out. Isn't that cool? I got this from a friend of mine. Thank you very much. It's from Stampers Anonymous. I think that is the coolest. It's kind of an architectural um, look to it. So let's use a different color on this one. I don't know what should I do. Should I use brown? green. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go with the trusty brown. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here as you guys know. <laughs> Getting some of my distress ink on here in vintage photo, which I love. Uh, see, now you can't really see that one. Hmm. Yeah, you can a little bit, but I don't know. I think the brown is too similar to what I got going on on these pages. Oh, well. See? Oh, well. Live and learn, right? So we're going to not do that one. Let's do something bright. Let's do a, a red. I know what I'm going to do. I've got this one little one here that I think is going to be fab. It is aged mahogany. It's kind of a red. It's kind of a burgundy. I think it looks fab. So let's try this little guy. He's another uh, like little gothic arch looking guy. Some flowers on it. I think that'll look good. Nope, can't see it. I need more ink. Yeah, you can't really see this one, you guys. I'm getting a little muddied. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you really can't see this guy that well. Just a little bit. Hmm. Okay, so, all right, enough of the stamping, but you guys get the idea. Okay, another thing you could do is stencils. Stencils are really fun. Let's try one of those, and hopefully I won't get way too muddy on this. Look at this one. Obviously, this is one that I use a lot. That is um, a flourish stamp from Tim Holtz. I don't know... I don't know how that's gonna come through. I'm gonna try some black again. I'm gonna try some black on this guy. See how it works. Ooh, we're talking some black, aren't we? Oh yeah, that's the pop I was looking for, guys, right there. Oh, Ooh wee, yes siree. This is looking good. Oh. oh, cool. Oh, man. Yep, love it. Love it. Look at that. Oh, get something over here. Now, see, here I am thinking it's going to be one piece. <laughs> man I love it I love it how do you guys usually clean your um, stencils I usually use a baby wipe or if a wipe doesn't take off like this archival ink um, alcohol on a cotton swab that works really good 
Okay, you guys, this is looking cool. This is looking really cool. So now I have to think, okay, what size tag do I want? Um, for this particular journal, I need some large ones. And so I am going to measure mine just because I know the dimensions of what I want for this particular, whoa, stuff's flying. Where's my ruler? Where is my ruler? I don't know where my ruler is. I need something that's approximately five by seven and something that's approximately four by six. All right, so let me move my stuff. Okay, where is my dang ruler? Here it is, yay, okay. <laughs> okay, so four by six. So if you think about it, I could just cut this right in half there. And then that would be six inches wide. Four by six. Let's think about this here. Six inches. No, I want it four inches. Four inches wide by six inches tall. That's what I gotta do. So I'm gonna cut this right in half, right? And then we'll cut them this way. So I'm gonna get my guillotine cutter out and I'm just gonna cut right down the center and it's gonna be horizontal. Let's move this out of the way. Hold on one second here. I just find that my guillotine cutter makes for an easier cut. All right, so look at those. Cool. All right, so let's think about this here for a minute. Six inches tall right by four inches wide so i could get three out of this Ooh, let's do that all right all right almost done here okay now see isn't that cool they kind of take on a life of their own just when they're cut up and see that's what I was telling myself to remember is that each of these looks great all put together but that's not the final product here that's not the final product here so I've got three four by six let's see what we can make with these last two guys I don't know some more four by six or we could do three by fives I don't know okay let's do that we're gonna do a three by five so I'm gonna cut this little top part off Cut an inch off of that. Now, think of this. This is the little part I cut off. What do you think you could use this for? You could use this for maybe a bookmark. I don't know, something like that. We'll have to save that. Or you could cut these little guys up and they could be teeny tags. Teeny little things you can put in your tuck spots. Okay, so what do we say? Three by five, right? Five, so we got three. Man, I can make a lot with this. Oh, here comes the math. I can make four of them. Oh, you knew math would come in handy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Obviously, if you don't have a guillotine cutter, no big deal. You can just eyeball it 
Oh, these look really good, you guys. Oh, man. Look how cool those are. Let me move all this extra ringy stuff here so you can see them. Ooh, 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 I love it. So we've got four littler guys and three big ones. This is so fun. Okay, from here, mm -hmm. we have some, you know, things that hang off. You can obviously cut those off or even tear them. Give it a kind of a distressed edge, right? So we'll tear off that extra just on the back there. Oh, this looks so good, you guys. All right, do I have any other doodads I have to tear off? No, there's looking pretty good. Now from here, as you can see right here, that's um, just some of the cardboard sh showing through. We're gonna take care of that, no problem. Let me get this off of here. This little guy's bugging me. Whoops. Okay. Did I know they were gonna turn out looking like this? No, but I am thrilled. I am thrilled. Oh, geez. Okay, now let's think of this. Focal points. I don't even know if they need any focal points, but I'm gonna think about it here. Hold on just a second. So, what could we put in the center? Well, we could do a lot. I mean, I could be here for days decorating, right? I pulled out some, you know, little, uh, these are from a piece of cardstock and they're like little stamps. Aren't they cute? Put those little guys on there. And this is a fussy cut rose. Oh, that looks good. And um, another picture of some fussy cut roses. If you want to do that. Got that little guy on there. I've got, um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, look at this. This is from um, the journal that I'm working on now. This is one of the patterns, and I love that. So let's just incorporate that. Okay. All right. I lost in all the melee. I lost my dauber. Here it is. Okay. I was just throwing stuff willy-nilly, right? My husband always tells me I'm willy-nilly. <laughs> well, I kind of am. But Oh, now see, you know what? This had the black on it. I don't like that. I wanted the brown. So we're going to just tear that off. No problem, right? This is going to be a little smaller here. I don't know if I like that on there now. Changing my mind. Changing my mind. Oh well, we're gonna go for it. Let me get a different dauber here. Actually move that guy out of the way. I'm going to put this guy right on there. Can be right towards the front. No, actually right there. And one of the reasons that I like to add additional pieces of paper or embellishments or anything like that is you don't really know how they're going to look once they're cut up. Because if this was in a full sheet, I wouldn't have known that this would look cool right there, right? Okay. Got another sheet right here that I think is fabulous. Look at that. Oh, man. All right. So these, these are kind of turning into my focal points. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. That is absolutely adorable. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, so we got a couple of those. Some of these we may not put anything on. I don't know. I'm kind of liking this one. I think that looks really pretty. And I think I liked that flower. But I'm going to just distress the edges. Just get the get the whiteness down a little bit. Oh, you guys, this is just this is cool. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Let's see. I have. What other focal points do I have? Hold on a sec. Let me see what I got here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking they're looking pretty dang good. But look, this little guy that I tore off, he looks pretty good too, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Just don't know. The possibilities are endless. Ooh, I like it right there. All right, we're gonna put that on right there. Okay. Before I think about it too much. Oh, so pretty. All right. Yay. Let's see, what else? What else can we do? This little cute little guy? This little guy. I like that. Distress him up. Put him off center a little bit. Let's see, what else did I have over here? Stamps, I found a stamp. You could always put stamps on here. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you guys look at your stamps before you put them on? I do, because um, as you guys know, I'm kind of a color coordinated kind of gal. So obviously I'm using orange on some of these, so I want orange, but I look and see what it is. Like I don't want to put some sort of dictator on there or some weird war stamp, unless that's the kind of journal you're working on. But um, for the most part, I do make sure that there's not something weird and offensive on there. <laughs> I bought a um, bag, a huge bag of stamps at a flea market. Ooh, that looks good. Put that down there. I bought a huge bag of stamps and this person must have been collecting for a very long time. But going through, I'm like, whoa, some of these are really bizarre. So I kind of look for stamps that are either have a theme going to them or have a pretty color. <laughs> you know, cause, um, Obviously, I know nothing about stamp collecting. And I can't see. Oh, there is a right way up on this one. So put that down there. Because I can't see very well. So, all right, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to distress the edges of all of these. Just with my distress ink. And another thing that I might do, I think is I'm going to use my corner punch and go around and do all of those. So I'm not going to have you watch me do all of that. I'm going to distress the edges, do my corner stamp, and then I'm going to sew around the whole thing. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look, and if you can see, like this right here, there's a little bit sticking up. 
I'm going to go through these and just make sure all the edges are stuck down securely. And that is what I'm going to do. And then I will be right back and I will, I don't know, continue on and show you the finished process. So stand, stay here and I'll be right back. Hey everyone, I am back and I did take the liberty of adding some embellishments onto my tags. And I also wanted to mention what I have done to the backs. Let me give you some examples here. So what I said I was going to do was sew around the edges, which I have on all of these. And I chose some different backs for the tags, just to give you guys some ideas of what might work for you. So on this particular tag, I just added some lace along the back and sewed around. I think that looks really pretty just like that. This tag here, I, I think I added another stamp because I saw a purple one. And I added some fabric onto the back of that and just sewed around the side of that one. And then this beauty here, I did add a focal point in the center of this tag and added some bling. You guys know how I love to do that. And then on the back, I just glued some lined tea stained paper. This beauty here, I added a sparkly chipboard tag and then I left that one blank. I just distressed over the white a little bit. And then on this one, let's see the front here, I added a grommet and a little tag with some or excuse me a um, I don't know what you want to call this a ribbon with some tool and on the back of that I did do some stenciling so there's another option for the back of your tag and on this tag here I embellished with a cutout from a dress that I got at Goodwill and I added some bling and left that one blank so there is some journaling space on the back and let's see on this one i added um, a little bit of applique trim and soda i did mention i sewed around all of these my apologies and then added some lined paper on the back and then this cute little leftover guy look at him he's so stinking cute i think what i'm going to do is cut him up maybe in you know, two or three sections. And then these will be cute little um, uh, inserts for, you know, tiny tuck spots or on the side in a, in a pocket in front of another tag, which I think would look really cute. So there are some ideas there. And I mean, you could just keep going. You could keep going and going and going on the um, embellishments. Um, I pulled out some leaves, which, you know, this is some leaf trim. I think I got that at Hobby Lobby. You could add that over the top. Put some buttons. Let's see, where would a button look pretty? Like on this one right there. That would look really pretty on there. Got some um, gold, the gold, my favorite gold trim from Walmart. Love that. You know, just put that along the side. Oh or ribbon. Let's add some ribbon. You could take this beauty right here and just scrunch up some ribbon along the bottom like that. That would look really pretty. I mean, you know, use your imagination. And then look at this cute little flower. Ah, oh, he's got a gingham print. Love that. And I thought that would look really pretty on that because it kind of plays with the um you know the black and the white in that particular tag so from one sheet or not sheet one size cardboard piece we got four three by fives right and one, two, three, three. If I can get these all in frame here. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. We got three four by sixes. 
So I think that is great for making a lot of tags for your journals at one time and then each of them turned out different. They all look fabulous. And let me just show you a journal page from my journal that I'm working on. It's a tea dyed uh, piece of, I think this was like a, a thick parchment paper, but I just think that's gonna look gorgeous. And you could clip it along the top. You could clip it right there. You can just have it dangle. Um, like with a, um, you know, paper clip, or you could sew it along the side and then, um, you know, have it as a tuck or inside a side pocket, or like maybe this cute little guy could be used as a belly band. Oh yeah. And then stick one of these guys underneath. That would be cute. So, you know, really, these are just so fun. I've said that a million times, and I'm just going to keep saying it. Because every time I do this, something wonderful happens. And I just love the way these turned out. I hope you guys do too. And, you know, have a wonderful day here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.